Hey, what is up guys? I'm back with another YouTube video, and today I'm going to be showing you my Bold Basics in Education Learning Minecraft Pocket Edition map. It is almost fully finished, guys. This is a major update. I'm just going to show you what I changed, um, a few things, what I added, and, um, most of all, um, like, um, like the new character, like some other characters I put into the game. I'm almost done with the characters, but... Yeah, there is a couple more rooms I need to add, and a couple more items that need to be placed, and certain, um, certain, certain blocks that need to be filled in. So, um, yeah, it's basically it, and I'll be done, and I'll be able to post this bad boy on the internet. And, well, maybe, might be not for you guys, but, um, most of you might think, well, this is, this map's pretty solid, like, like, really smoothly solid. But most of me might think, this is just garbage, maybe for you. But, um, if you're a nice person you, and you really like maps that are redstone required, you might be thinking, oh, wow, this is actually pretty cool. So, um, for, without further ado, let's get started. First off, we have two new characters that I added on the list. And, um, it is Playtime and the Sock Puppet. I don't actually know the name. I forget. It's a name, but I forgot. And, yeah, sorry if Playtime looks weird. Um, that's, like, the best pose I could possibly get. And, well, uh, I did something, um, really cool, um, with the principal and with Baldi. This is, um, I will show you how this works after I show you what it does. So, um, if you go up to the principal, which I don't, I want, I want Baldi to get out of the freaking way. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, let's go up to the principal. Oh, crap. It says 15 seconds. Tension for you. When will you learn? So that's what it says. And if we come out. Oh, I forgot I blocked it up. Oops, sorry. Um, but if we come over to Baldi now. This is a little bit more. Um, I like this one more than the principal. Because I took forever. Guys, I was looking on the internet for days now. To figure out how to detect for when a mob is near you and I did that last creation of my last video with the mob detection thing basically easy and stuff but this one's more complex so stay tuned if you want to see that so I'll show you how to do it as well and it's really fun to mess around with and um as you can see if we walk up to Baldy if he comes over here um Mr. Baldy Mr. Baldy Let's wait for Baldi to come over here. Mr. Baldi, are you coming over here or not? I need to show the I need to show everyone something. Okay, thank you, Principal, for going away. Game over. And if you're wondering what this is, this is the game over room. And right here is the refill. Is refill? It means like I got to like refill like the the um the dispensers. Because the notebooks are in the hoppers. It'll even say in the text. So, press that. Refill the hop droppers with the notebooks in the bottom hop. from In, in the bottom with the... Okay, that doesn't make sense. I, I will certainly change that right now. Hold on a minute, guys. I think I messed up. I don't understand this. Say so refill the droppers with the notebooks in the... From the bottom. Okay, I, I, know, I know what I did wrong, guys. This is an update video, but I want to... Um, refill the droppers with the notebooks. From the bottom. Yeah, that makes more sense. From the bottom. Okay, let's do that again. Um, hold on. Refill the droppers with the notebooks from the bottom hoppers. Refill to play again. And if you want to play again, um, it'll automatically, you press this, which, um, let me get a sign, um, a sign, hold on, I know this is an update video, but I forgot some stuff that I should have added earlier, okay, there we go, and this is what you have, this is what happens when you start, you, um, get teleported, 
It says, oh, hi, welcome to my schoolhouse. Right away, too, which is really interesting. So, um, it automatically set my game mode, too, which I will, um, get that back into creative. Oh, crap. I don't want to die from the spider. Honestly, I don't want to die. Hold on. Um, so let me show you how I did this right now. I, um, will certainly show you. Um, oh, I forgot I had a crack here. Um, let me show you what I did to make Baldy, like, us teleport back to that room. And, um, how we got into detention. This is a really easy concept. Um, which is more complex than the other one. And it's, it's really simple. So, it's only by using these two command blocks right here. Um, one is one for the, one's for the principal, and one's for body. I think this is principles. Yeah. So let me show you how I did this for, um, the principles. This is really easy. You guys can do it right now. And this is, like, the second video that actually will show this, um, amazing command block creation that you probably did not know about. Um, this is, like, the only video I found on YouTube, so I will definitely leave a link for his channel. He did a really good job. And, um, yeah, go support him. So, um, you, the command is slash execute at E, type eagle vindicator. Tilga, 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 execute at P, um, open brackets, R equals two, close brackets, tilga, 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 TP, negative seven, four, three, which is the coordinates to get to the... Uh, which is the coordinates in the, uh, in the principal's office, yeah. And, uh, yeah, this is really easy, and once you do that, it'll say fail to execute as a vindicator. And make sure you put this on repeat, unconditional, and always active, or this will not work. And, yeah, redstone takes a long time to use, so don't use redstone. Um, and this will say, slash say... It'll, we'll do the weird S thing again, like last episode. 15 seconds detention for you. When will you learn? And it's on chain, conditional, always active. So make sure it's on that or not. It'll probably not, more than likely not work. I don't actually know. Just make sure you do that. And this is the same thing, except um, we're doing the drown instead of the... Um, Vindicator, and it is teleporting us to a different location, which is the that game over room, what, what it showed. And once we get teleported, um, it'll activate this. Uh, it'll say slash title at P title. And it'll say um, that weird S thing um, for game over. It'll pop up like in a big... Where it'll it'll pop up really big, and yeah, this is a another chain command block conditional always active, and once it um gets activated from this command block, it'll say, um title command successfully executed, and yeah, that's uh one thing that I I took out. If you're wondering, where's the other thing for the detention? Well, I actually removed it because I found this other one. And if I just died from, if I died from the principal, how was I supposed to do it for Baldi? So I just kept looking and looking until I found this. So this is really helpful. You guys can do it um, right now. I will make a tutorial video on this soon. I will not make a tutorial on the other one. I will make a tutorial on this. So yeah. Um, now what I want to show you is um, the new rooms I added. So uh, for one. I have another school faculty room, which is the one on the l left hall. I added the one of the school faculty rooms here and here, and it leads into right into the right onto the other part of the principal's office. So yeah, uh, now what we have over here is some command blocks over here. I need to add more to it. Um, but this is basically killing the mobs that I do not want in the building, like, say, witches, creepers, skeletons, spider zombies, and, well, I have Endermen, too, because they, I, I don't want them to teleport around. So, yeah, I, I still have to do a few more, 
But, yeah. I got every single notebook room done. I also got the cafeteria's um, roof done. And so, as you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven notebooks. And, yes, uh... I added more redstone with it too. And guys, um I will be doing I will be making a trailer for this map as well as well. And there's a specific order you have to do the notebooks in. So if I were to come into the into the building in the main entrance, you'll see this on the doors. The dark oak doors and what it'll say is the, which notebooks you have to do first. So, for instance, you have to do notebook one first, which is that room. Then notebook two. And then you gotta go this way. I'm telling you a specific order. If you do not do this order right, Baldi, if you go to the seventh notebook, Baldi will go really fast. And you're just kind of cheating, so don't do that, please. And, well, um... As you can see, this is a school faculty. I actually, I actually need to get a sign. Hold on, I, I'm so sorry if I'm failing on this uh, school faculty room. Hold on, I know this is an update, but I'm I'm really I'm badly failing. Hold on. School faculty. Room. Okay, there we go. Um, there we go. We have the school faculty room. There's so many of them. I get confused sometimes. I mean, which one is which in the game. So, um, over here, we have notebook three, which I did have to change. Instead of lime, it was actually light blue. Yeah, sorry. I accidentally messed up from... I watched the game, and it was, supposedly, it was actually a light blue notebook, not a lime. But there, there is still a lime notebook on one part of the... on another notebook, so, yeah. Let's close that. And over here... It's the notebook on the right side. It is notebook four. And over here, oops, oh, oh no, no lag please, no. Okay, hold on. Well, I thought it was over here. Oh wait, I accidentally took the wrong hole. Hold on a minute, hold on. I know there's a notebook over here somewhere. I know notebook five is, wait a minute, I think. It's where that one spot is. It's over here, I think. Yeah, it should be over here. So there's a notebook five, I think. No, that's notebook six. Where, where did I, I forgot where I put notebook five. I, I'm so confused, hold on a minute, guys. I can't find that one notebook I was trying to find. Where is notebook five? I know I... No, it's not it. Is it though? It is probably... No, it's a school faculty. I have a sign on it too, so... Yeah, I'm trying to look for it. I think it was like... Yeah, it's over here. It's over here. I think it's... no. This is notebook five, right? Yeah, this is notebook five. Which is the black notebook. And then if we come um, back to the other area we were just in, uh, one we messed up in. Well, it was actually the lime notebook, so let me go show you that. As you can see, it's notebook six. I'm gonna open that. It is the lime notebook. And if we, oh no guys, oh no guys, don't tell me that the lag's coming back. If we come over here, 
We go all the way down this hall. Notebook 7, which I uh, always forget to put these stupid notebooks on. Like, only for this notebook, I forgot. So, notebook 7. And, uh, yeah. There we go. This is notebook number 7, guys. As you can see, it's a, it's still a red notebook. There is actually two of them, which is kind of weird. As every single one's different colors. And, yes, we have the cafeteria, which is looking good, right? I don't think maybe for you guys is it is, but for me it is. It's a nice little cafeteria here. Oh, from the game. And we're gonna come back up here. And I wanna show you some of the commands I did for um um notebook number seven and like some of the other ones. So let me actually break out of here. Uh yeah, here we go. Let me just get the um, block back out. Okay, let me, uh, come down here. And I want to show you the notebook number seven. So, how this works is, it's the same way as the other ones, teleport you and stuff like that. But this one's a little bit different. Like, it's, it's a different, like, it's in a different, like, direction for some of you guys. Like, it's the longest, um, it's the longest redstone one I, I did yet. But it, it uses less, less command blocks than the others and less hoppers. So, let me demonstrate what I mean. Like, right here, we have the teleport command, which teleports us back in the room. Which, there's a repeater coming through the block here, which is sending a redstone signal through this repeater, through the command block, through this repeater, through the block, through this repeater, through the block, and through the repeater, back around and forth. So, this is giving um, the drowned one second times 11 for his speed. And, well, what I had to change is... For every command block, I, did, I was doing this wrong. I thought I was giving, like, the, right here. If it goes to the first one here. I thought this was the speed. But it was the second, so I had to change it around. And that's one thing I was going to sh um, share with you. And over, over, over here, we have this right here that says, Congratulations, you found all seven notebooks. Now all you gotta do is, and it just ticks, 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 all the way until here. It says, get out while you still can. Three punctuation marks, I think. Yeah, I think so. And there's a repeater, which is extending into this block, which is coming into this redstone, which is traveling all the way up into the repeater through the... Redstone through the repeater, through the redstone, through the repeater, through the redstone again, through the repeater here, and then through the repeater here, oh, through the redstone here, and through the repeater here, and through the sticky piston, which is actually grabbing hold of this block, and which is pulling it back. So, so this is exactly why I did the redstone. This might sound complex, but um, I did this redstone all over the place because um, it's... Uh, is actually only for notebook mm, three, four, five, six, seven. It is actually using a sticky piston to push out one of the blocks for repeaters because I don't want it to tick too much speed for the drowned. I don't want it to have too much, so that's exactly why. So, yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, should be it for now. So, um,. I will do an update um, later for more of the characters and some of the items I will be adding. And, yeah, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Make sure you leave a like, turn notification bell, and guys, leave, um, subscribe. And, guys, I'll see you in the next video. And, also, I will leave a link for the guy's channel. He did a really good job on this redstone creation right over, which one is, was it? Oh, yeah, over here, the... The text thing was my idea, but, um, yeah. 
give support to this guy who made this command possible. And guys, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, guys.